In today's video, I'm going to go over all of the steps that you need to take in order to decide which language is going to be the best language for you to learn first. Unfortunately, there's no easy right or wrong answer for what's the best programming language for everyone to learn, but there's a simple series of questions that you can ask yourself that'll lead you directly to which programming language will be best for your particular situation. And the first of those questions is hopefully the easiest one to answer, which is what do you want to do with programming? Now, while it may be difficult to say exactly what you want to do with programming before you actually start programming, you may already have an idea of the different topics that you want to cover with programming. This could be web development, game development, mobile development, artificial intelligence, or any other topics surrounding programming. Once you know which of these different topics you want to cover, hopefully you can narrow it down to either one or two different topics, you'll have already cut out a ton of different languages and narrowed your search. The next question that you want to ask yourself is how large of a company do you want to work for and what type of company will you want to work for? Are you the type of person that wants to work at one of the large tech companies such as Google, Facebook, or Amazon? Or do you want to work at a smaller tech company that may be local to your area? Or do you want to work for maybe a non-tech company like a larger company such as a bank or a supermarket, but it's going to have a large tech field, it's just not necessarily a tech company. These decisions actually drastically impact which languages and frameworks are most impactful for you to learn to be able to get these jobs. For example, a smaller company is most likely going to be using the latest technologies since they don't have as much older code that they need to maintain, so most of their technology that they're going to be using is newer languages and frameworks. But if you wanted to work for, for example, a bank or a supermarket, they're going to be using much older software more likely, so you're going to want to learn older software that's been around for a long time that these companies have already built large systems around. The next question you want to ask yourself once you find a particular language that you think you may want to learn is how easy is that language to actually learn? Some languages are much harder than others to learn and can be much more discouraging to start learning as a beginner. My recommendation is even if you want to go into a field that requires very complex, difficult to learn programming languages, to take a step back and learn an easier programming language first because it's much easier to learn a second language after you've already learned your first programming language, and starting with something that's much easier to learn, such as JavaScript, is a better idea than jumping into something incredibly complex, such as learning C++ as a beginner. Once you've thought about and answered all of those questions, the next thing that you need to do is take all of those answers and insert them into Google to try to figure out which programming languages are going to work best for your particular situation. For example, let's say that we said that we want to be learning web development as our topic of choice, and that we want to work at a smaller company which is going to be using more modern technologies than, for example, an older company. What we would do is we would just go into Google and search for popular web development languages, and you'll get a list of popular modern day web development languages, which is going to look something like HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And then you'll also get some frameworks such as Node.js, React, and other things that you'll want to learn after learning those initial languages. One of the best places to figure out which languages are most popular in a given topic is to go somewhere like GitHub or Stack Overflow, and you can just check these websites. They have usually a list of their more popular languages that are used on these websites, so you can get a great idea of which languages are actively being used by people in a variety of different environments. This will give you a solid list to pull from when deciding which language will be best for you to learn first. To help alleviate some of the problems that may come with trying to Google these solutions, I'm going to give you quite a few examples on different scenarios that you may run into and give you the answer for which will be the best programming languages for you to start with in those different scenarios. We'll start with web development again since we used that in the last scenario, and as I already mentioned, the languages that you want to learn first and foremost are HTML, JavaScript, and CSS. Those three are going to be applicable to any size company you work at with web development. If you want to work at an older, larger scale company such as a bank or a supermarket, learning something like Java or C Sharp is also going to be incredibly useful since those languages have been around for an incredibly long time and are used all over the place to make websites of all different sizes. If you wanted to get into game development, for example, you're going to probably want to start learning C Sharp because you can use it in the Unity game engine, which is an incredibly easy game engine to get started with. If you want to work in any form of industry of any size though, you're going to want to eventually learn C++ because most modern day games that are made are made using C++ and there's a few used in C-sharp and Unity as I mentioned earlier. So I'd start with C-sharp and then move on to C++ as your second language. If you want to get into mobile development, there's many different routes that you can take, but I recommend jumping in with just the basic Android and iOS languages, which is going to be Java for Android 
and Swift for iOS. I wouldn't bother trying to learn both of them at the same time. I would pick either Android first with Java or iOS first with Swift, learn that one completely, and then go over and learn either Android or Swift, whichever one you didn't learn the first time, and it'll be incredibly easy to pick that second one up. Now, if you wanted to go into machine learning and artificial intelligence, probably the best language that you can learn is Python because it's incredibly easy to get started with, and there's a huge community of artificial intelligence and machine learning people around Python. If you still don't know which programming language is best for you to learn, I'd recommend JavaScript as a first programming language because it can be used not only in web development, but also in mobile development. It can be used in artificial intelligence or even game development. It's so widely applicable and so widely used that you can take it to any industry that you want to go into and it doesn't really matter. Also, a great thing about JavaScript is that it's incredibly easy to get started with learning and can be difficult to master some of the more complex parts of JavaScript, so it's a great language to not only start learning, but continue to learn because there's so much more to learn than just the basics with it. And that's really all it takes to discover which programming language is best for you to learn first. If you have any questions related to your specific scenario that this video did not answer, feel free to leave them down in the comments below, and I'll get back to you letting you know which programming language I think would be best for you, or further questions that you can ask yourself to help you narrow down your search of programming languages. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day.